Lesson 66 My happiness and my functions are one. You have surely noticed the emphasis throughout our recent lessons on the connections between fulfilling your function and achieving happiness. This is because you do not really see the connection. Yet there is more than just the connections between them, they are the same. Their forms are different, but their content is completely one. The ego does constant battle with the Holy Spirit on the fundamental questions of what your function is. So does it do constant battle with the Holy Spirit about what your happiness is? It is not a true way battle. The ego attacks and the Holy Spirit doesn't not respond. He knows what your function is. He knows that it is your happiness. Today we we'll try to go past this holy meaningless battle and arrive at the truth about their function. We will not engage in senseless arguments about what it is. We will not become hopelessly involved in defining happiness in determining the means for activating it. We will not indulge the ego by listening to its attacks on truth. We will merely be glad that we can find out what truth is. Our longer practice period today has at its purpose your acceptance of the fact that not only is there a very real connections between the function God gave you and your happiness, but that they are actually identical. God gives his own happiness. Therefore, the function he gave you must be happiness, even if it appears to be different. Today's exercise is an attempt to go beyond this difference in appearance and recognize a common content where it exists in truth. Begin the 10 to 15 minute practice period by reviewing the thoughts. God gave me his only happiness. He has given my function to me. Therefore, my function must be happiness. Try to see the logic in this sequence even if you do not yet accept the conclusion. It is only if the first two thoughts are wrong that the conclusion could be false. Let us then think about the premise for a while as we are practicing. The first premise is that God gives you only happiness. This could be false, of course, but in order to be false it is necessary to define God as something he is not. Love cannot give evil, and what is not happiness is evil. God cannot give you what he does not have, and he cannot have what he is not. Unless God gives us only happiness, he must be evil. And it is the definition of him you are believing if you do not accept the first premise. The second premise is that God has given your, you your function. We have seen that there are only two parts of your mind. One is ruled by the ego and is made up of illusions. The other is the home of the Holy Spirit where truth abides. There are no other guides but these to choose between and no other outcome is possible as a result of your choice but the fear, the ego, always endangers and the love that the Holy Spirit always offers to replace. Thus, it must be that your function is established by God through His voice or is made by the ego which you have made to replace Him. Which is true, unless God gave your function to you, it must be the gift of the ego. Does the ego really have the gifts to give, be itself an illusion and offering only the illusion of gifts? Think about this during the longer practice period today. Think also about the many forms the illusions of your function has taken your mind and the many ways in which you try to find salvation under the ego's guidance. Did you find it? Were you happy? Did they bring you peace? We need great honesty today. 
Remember the outcomes fairly and consider also whether it was ever reasonable to expect happiness from anything the ego overproposed. Yet the ego is the only alternative to the Holy Spirit of voice. You, you will listen to madness or hear the truth. Try to make this choice as you think about the premise on which our conclusion rests. We can share in this conclusion but no other. For God himself shall rest with us. Today's ideas is another giant stride in the perceptions of the same as the same and the different as different. On one side stand all illusions, all truth stand on the other. Let us try today to realize that only the truth is truth. In the shorter practice periods, which would be most helpful today if you undertake twice an hour, this form of the application is suggests My happiness and function are one because God has given me both. It will not take more than a minute and probably less to repeat these words slowly and think about them a little while as you say them.